a little bit, but you know, your points about the Biden administration are well taken. At the end of the day, though, a lot of this onus is on Congress. There hasn't been a comprehensive immigration reform bill in nearly four decades. So what bipartisan conversations, real concrete conversations, are being had, if any, to show the American people this is more than just messaging? Well, let me turn it over to Senator Britt to respond to your question. But I'm, I introduced about two years ago the Bipartisan Border uh, Security Act with the Senator Sinema bipartisan bill in the House, uh, Henry Cuellar and Tony Gonzalez, thinking that if things got so bad that the Biden administration was feeling such heat from its failed policies, they might be looking for a lifeline. But we got no response. They don't care. I mean, they. Like I said, we haven't been able to get their, get their attention. And I think we should acknowledge the fact that, you know, when the Democrats say that we need to pass comprehensive immigration reform, you know, they're using these children, they're using these grieving families as leverage to get other political points they want in terms of amnesty programs or other immigration measures. That's not going to happen. That can't happen. Just real quick. See that point right there? Th that, that was a low point that occurred at the end of the Trump administration because he took matters in his own hand because Congress wouldn't act to reform our asylum law. So you say Congress has, yeah, I, I think Congress should act. But a president can secure the border. President Trump did. By return to Mexico, the third third safe country policies, other agreements with, with uh, uh, other countries. You know, we were building the wall. We, immigrants realized, or people coming, trying to come to this country illegally, is, is we were serious about securing the borders, and they stopped coming. We pretty well stopped the flow of unaccompanied children, of family units exploiting our laws. We stopped it. It's because we had a president that was serious about securing the border. Unfortunately, we have a president in the office now that is not faithfully executing the law and literally is committed to an open border policy and the results are obvious the results are sickeningly obvious and i just ask all of you in the press would this be an ignored story because this by this is an ignored story would this be ignored if there was a republican president in office during this point in time i was down in guatemala I toured a facility, a safe house for sex trafficked little girls. The youngest was 11. They had the cribs there for the little babies these sex trafficked little girls were having. If you can't get angry about that, if you and the media can't get interested enough to report the truth, the depredations occurring, they have to be stopped outside of politics. There should be nothing political about this. We, we passed this Cure Fence Act on a, on a bipartisan basis. I think 85 members of the Senate voted for it. And yet now, Democrats refuse to even build the wall that we've already bought and paid for. So a president who's serious about this can s fix this problem. He can stop a lot of this trafficking. But we have a president right now in office who could care less. The current vice president was on my committee when we heard testimony about a child being sold for $81. She obviously could care less, and you can see the results. Just to add to that, so in 2006, this body passed the Secure Fence Act with 80 votes. We all know that if you have a boat that's taken on water, you, you gotta plug the hole, right? Building a barrier and a wall and making sure that we have a way to keep our borders safe is critically important. And the challenge that I really have as I've dug into this issue and really tried to learn is that back in 2006, everybody agreed on that. Of those 80 votes, do you know who voted for the Secure Fence Act? Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, Chuck Schumer, and guess what, Joe Biden. They are being ruled by the extremes, and they're letting that cloud their vision and doing what's right. What's right is protecting this nation. You know, finish building barriers so that we can make sure that we know who comes here and when and how. 
so that we take back control, that American laws take back control, not lawlessness, not drug cartels. They're running shot here. They're the ones that are profiting. So I think we have to come to agreement that you got to start somewhere and you got to secure this country um, before you're able to deal with anything else. And that's just the truth. Isn't it ironic that you're asking about passing an additional law as the solution when the administration won't enforce the existing law? Thank you all very much. Thank you.